Kipling, King Sharif, make love, make love, a common phrase, worthy of meditation, oh, yeah, to make love, to create love, cause love. Uh, suggests that bringing sexual, spiritual energy into the world that was not formally present. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Divine emotional force. Natural for us mammals. Yeah. Uh, the love of a mother for her child, loving kindness of a mother is the essence of Buddhism, yeah. And we humans, as we grow up, uh, we discover by feeling and experimenting uh, whom we are truly attracted to in the rainbow spectrum of gender possibilities. Uh, well, up to now, Kipling has lived as a heterosexual uh, male, uh, self-identified, uh, Mainly because, uh, well, from birth, uh, the straight world was his only uh, surrounding world. The, the sole social uh, context of his life. And uh, so because of that context, Kipling was cocooned uh, as a caterpillar right through his late teens. And uh, he naturally crawled around, uh, never imagining what he could fly from flower to flower. <laughs> As a divine butterfly, exquisite, yeah. But now he's 17 and he's footless and fancy free. Yeah, hitchhiking around India, hanging out with those poor folks in the fruit canning factory outside Shalimar Gardens in Lahore. Yeah, and now he's hanging out with these uh, free, uh, accepting hill tribes. Uh, and f so for the first time in his life, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kipling is free from his nation, England, from his parents and the rest of his family, and uh, from what, uh, well, used to be cultural context. Yeah, and, uh, but now he's drifting uh, around the open sky, expanses of India. Yeah, he kept... Uh, uh, he mingles and crashes with the common humans around him. Abundant space to explore. Grow. Yeah, grow. Oh. Street life of India. And uh, the, uh, you know, the outside, uh, but also inside inside the realm, his interior realm, like he's asking himself, who am I? Hmm. Why don't I go gawka when that handsome man blinks his pretty eyes at me? King Sharif? Oh, you're handsome, said Doctor, as he reclines. Dazed on opium in his king size royal bed. Yeah, for Kipling, his life is uh, coming to 
a coming out point. She using all these outside external uh, stimuluses. They're they're, kind of, they're 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 fusing and focusing together in this eternal moment. Oh, the ambience, oh, the aura up in these Himalayas. Oh, the Shangri-La setting, yeah, fusing in all directions, yeah. Karmic mystery of a horse accident seven years ago, flowing into a reunion, reincarnation between two twin brothers, yeah. Last night, Kipling makes the courageous leap of his lifetime. He leap, he jumps in. <laughs> Into the bed with another handsome, lustful teenager. Yeah, and Kipling relaxes enough. Oh. to lose control. Feeling himself organically whole. Self-recognized. You don't need anybody else to tell him who he is. As never before. What's that, Fatima? I have an Afghan girlfriend. Um... Where am I, I, at, with my own sexuality? Mm -hmm. Well, my books do feature uh, uh, gay characters. I appreciate them, feel drawn to them. And Am I gay myself? Somewhat. Yeah, I mean, I lived in a 10,000 acre hot springs resort north of San Francisco for eight years close optional yeah and uh, oh from the awesome hot pools I, I saw coming down uh, those stairs into the pools of the naked bodies of men women transgenders bisexuals uh, of all physical shapes Mm. All ages, all degrees of uh, of health. So it was a wide open environment for me to explore my sexuality. Mm. 